Hey everybody, it's Randy with Carkeology, and I want to share a story with you of an amazing Volkswagen bus that I came across years ago. Now, the gentleman in the hat here is Zeb Lee of Asheville, North Carolina. And in 1956, he purchased a brand new Volkswagen 23 window microbus in sealing wax red and chestnut brown. But he didn't have plans to haul people in this particular bus. He had other ideas, and those ideas turned into this. The WSKY Mobile Studio. This was one of the first mobile DJ vehicles that is known in the U.S. This was a mobile broadcast vehicle that he used for his radio station there in Asheville, uh, for a promotion and so on and so forth. Now first he just painted logos on the side and then he realized that those colors weren't the best for marketing. So he redid the bus in a different color combination with some absolutely spectacular graphics on the side of it. Take a look at this. Talk about a dream bus. Anyway, uh, this particular guy right there, he was uh, one of the DJs they ran this bus all around um, Asheville, uh, different promotions here and there. Uh, this guy here, Buddy, uh, he'll come back into the story here in a moment. Um, but it was a very successful vehicle for use uh, for marketing uh, for the radio station. Uh, at one point, they changed the graphics to something a little more modern. And then at one point, they actually changed from a uh, AM station uh, to an FM station. Here's the last guys of the AM graphics, and you'll see here in a little bit when it turned to an FM station. Um, let's see, somewhere right about, well, right about here. Now, this is uh, the bus when it was found. This was in the family home, the Lee family home in Asheville, North Carolina. And they contacted me to tell me about this bus, and I absolutely went insane. I couldn't let it go. I spoke with them. I figured out the best way to deal with it, and I personally drove across the country to Asheville to pick this thing up. We pulled it out of the garage there. Uh, the family posed with it, and uh, this guy right here is Buddy. That was the DJ from back in the day. And while we were there with it, he actually got this thing fired up and spinning tunes in the garage. Truly magical moment. They even kept the original seats in the basement and sent those along the way. Anyway, I loaded up the bus on my trailer and I traveled across the U.S. back to California to the Carchaeology Lab. And the plan, of course, was to get this car running and driving again. Uh, and to market it for the family and also try to find it the best home possible. Um, and while it was here, it got a fair bit of attention. It was featured in uh, a couple of magazines. It was featured in a calendar as well. Uh, I did some preservation work on it, got it up and running and driving, and cleaned up and so on and so forth. Um, but this is absolutely a piece of American history. Uh, a spectacular bus, extremely rare, uh, real low miles on it. I believe it had 22,000 actual miles on the bus. Uh, and the fact that it had all of its original equipment uh, from its radio station days inside uh, made it a very special treat. Uh, still had the personalized plate from the FM station on it. Uh, it had a, a rare uh, ambulance step on the side of it that made it easier to get in and out. Uh, all the original handles and lights and trim and so on and so forth. And it was spectacularly solid. With all that radio equipment in there, they didn't leave this thing out in the weather at all. It was always protected either in the uh, basement of the radio station itself or at the Lee family home. And as a result, it really survived quite well. The only change that had been made to it was the original engine. Uh, the 36 horse just couldn't quite keep up, and they did upgrade that to a 40 horse engine at one point. Um, so that was a bit of a shame, but the rest of it was really fantastic original. Now that's original paint there on the dashboard. Uh, original Motorola radio was installed in there, had the wind-up clock, had a keychain from the radio station. Floors were spectacular. Um, all the original mats and panels and 
everything were there, and all I did with the interior is clean it up. Uh, not that it needed much cleaning, just some basic detailing and so on and so forth. Now this was what is called a uh, Wolfsburg bust. One of the details that sets aside the Wolfsburg bust is this seamed dog leg piece. You see that little seam right across there? Um, these were buses that were actually still built at the Wolfsburg plant before they opened up the uh, Hanover plant for bus production. Now the interior of this was really all original. Well, except for the radio stuff which was installed, well, basically when it was new. Now, there were some upgrades done over the years to the equipment, but all this equipment that's within the bus was what was used when the bus was in use at the radio station. Uh, and it was fantastic to see the way that it was set up. It was very ingenious. Uh, the equipment was all in fantastic shape. And when we were there at the house and the engineer buddy got in here and actually got all this stuff uh, up and running right there in front of me, um, it was really, really awesome. In any case, um, a really, really neat survivor and a true one of a kind when it comes down to its condition and its use. Now, uh, like I said, it was uh, photographed for a couple different magazines that did bring it out to a couple of shows here in California, and eventually it was put up onto the market uh, for sale. Um, now, it was a very difficult vehicle to price because of its unique qualities. Uh, so we basically priced it at a level that was, uh, you know, similar to other 23 windows, and it was purchased by a collector in Germany, uh, and it is there in Germany at this collection, and it is a fantastic home that I've had a chance to visit myself. And here I am in front of the bus in 2017, many years after making the sale. In any case, I wanted to share this story with you. I came across these photos recently, and it uh, was just too good of a story not to tell. In any case, keep on digging them up and driving them, folks. Amazing vehicles are in the garages around our fair country. Take care. Bye-bye.